Hello everybody, my name is Jim Stefanko and this is episode 4 of the Wolves Fan Review. Last night the Sudbury Wolves played host to the Peterborough Peets. In the Peets lineup tonight was Strong Maple Leafs prospects Nick Robertson, who is a forward by the way, and Semyon Derargu-Chensev, both of whom though early on are in the top 10 for OHL scoring. Christian Perbu gets the start for the Wolves. Both Peter Stratus and Costa Mancus make their season debut for Sudbury after returning from injury. Also the worst referee in the OHL, Mike Cairns, is on the whistle tonight. And if anybody remembers our first round playoff series against Oshawa a couple years ago, you will understand why I despise this man. But the Wolves come out hot and 30 seconds in, Blake Murray takes a feed from David Levin. Murray buries it. We're up one to nothing. Three minutes into the period, the Peets take an interference call and on the power play, Quinton Byfield has possession of the puck. He slides it over to Jack Thompson coming in from the point. Thompson lets it go. Goal! Two nothing Wolves. A couple minutes after that, the Subbury Wolves take a penalty and the Peets go on the power play. Shot comes in for the point, gets tipped in front, goes upstairs on Christian Perbu. Wolves are now only up 2-1. to one. Now at about the 9 minute mark of the period. Again, David Levin has the puck, slides it over to Macaulay Carson. Carson kicks it back to Owen Gilhula. Gilhula bangs it in. Goal! 30 seconds later, Dare Argue Chensev gets the puck all alone in front. He goes upstairs on Perbu, 3-2 Wolves. Now 12 and a half minutes into the period, Nolan Hutchison lays out a kid behind the Pete's net. Then some 6 foot 7 not so jolly burgundy green giant tries to come to the rescue of his teammate. Hutchison doesn't back down and an awesome scrap ensues. Here, take a look. And that's a nice thing to have in terms of depth for the Sudbury Wolves. And some talking going on, negotiating, and there you're going to have our first battle. It's John Parker Jones against Nolan Hutchison. And Hunter Jones was not even really in the play. Hutchison was looking to fight someone else, and Hunter Jones, who is a, a, not a small individual, uh, neither of these two big bodies going down without a fight for sure. Well... John Parker Jones uh, tips the... Well, Parker Jones, the burgundy monster, gets the instigator penalty, and Wolves go on the power play. Nothing comes of the power play for the Wolves, but that fight sets the tone for the rest of the game. Peter Stratus gets crushed along the boards. Isaac Phillips gets into it with a couple Peterborough Peets players along the bench line. Then with the puck on his stick, Quinton Byfield cuts up the middle of the ice. He gets rocked in the trolley tracks. Co-captain Shane Belitka answers the bell. He gets into a great scrap in the middle of the ice. Let's take another look at that one, too. And now Paquette and him are having a bit of a shoving match. Meantime, the puck is out in the neutral zone. Byfield goes down. And now you're going to have another little battle here as Belitka looking after his man. And a little bit high of a hit on, on Byfield, the trainer, out right away. And both Emmett Sorensis and... Shane Bolitka, within seconds, jumped in to defend uh, big number 55. Woo! Let's go! The period winds down. The Wolves go into the break up 3-2. to two, And in the shot category, they lead 12-2. to two. So just to clarify, Peterborough scored on their only two shots of the period. Now to start off the period, Perbu gets a couple saves under his belt. But two minutes in, a shot comes in for the point and gets straight past Perbu. We're all tied up at three. Perbu letting in three goals on five shot gets pulled. And Mitchell Weeks comes in as relief. One minute into his game, a shot comes in on Mitchell Weeks. It gets straight past him. Peterborough is up four to three. Why? About the seven minute mark, to argue Chensev gets alone in front. Weeks makes the save on him, but the rebound comes back out front. He makes a big stretch pad save and the Wolves go the other direction. Weeks gives it a couple post taps and he's back in the game. However, Wolves can't clear the puck out of their zone. Weeks makes a couple saves and the Wolves take possession. But moments later, they give it away. Peterborough takes a shot. Weeks makes a save. Peterborough gets the rebound. Bang it in. Goal. 5-3. Momentum is a hell of a drug. About halfway through the period, David Levin comes streaking down the left wing. He kicks it over to Gilly, who rips it wide of the net. Puck bounces off the backboards and straight out to Macaulay Carson. He bangs it in out of midair. Goal! 5-4. Now just six and a half minutes left in the second period. The Peets take a penalty. Off the draw, the Wolves win it back to the point. Pass gets over to Byfield at the other point. Byfield steps in and lets a wrister go. It gets past the goalie. Goal! 5 
on fire. Ah, my throat hurts, and so do my emotions. The buzzer goes, thank God. That's the end of the second period. First half of the third period is going rapid fire. Let's go. Three minutes in, Robinson over to Stillman at the side of the net. Goal, 6-5. A minute later, Shane Balicka gets the puck out front. He buries it. Goal, 7-5. Six minutes in, dare argue, Tensev has the puck in the subbury zone. He kicks it back to the point. Puck goes in the net, 7-6. Eight minutes into the period, Stillman breaks into the zone, rips it far side of the goalie. Goal, 8-6. Five minutes left, Byfield receives a pass down the right wing. But Mike Cairns, the worst OHL referee on earth, instead of going to the boards where he belongs, steps directly into Quinton Byfield as he's trying to make a play. No your role, Mike Cairns. You suck at your job. But nothing came of it, so maybe I'm just overreacting. 15 seconds left. The Peterborough Peets have their goalie pulled. Chase Stillman is on the ice with two goals already in his pocket. His teammates are fighting to get him the puck. He eventually picks it up at about the red line, waits out the defender who tried to make a move on him. Chase Stillman buries it for his first career OHL hat trick. Woo! I still need that. Time winds down and the Sudbury Wolves take the victory 9-6 to six over the Peterborough Peets. Okay, couple things we need to touch on before I let you guys go here today. First and foremost is the performance of Chase Stillman. In his post-game interview, you can see how genuinely excited and proud he was of his accomplishment. And I think I can speak for all Wolves fans as I express how proud we are of you as well. From having Quinton on the team last year come in as a rookie and be so dominant, it's amazing to see another rookie like yourself Chase come in here and put on a show for all us fans. So for that, thank you and congratulations. Shifting moods a little bit, I think we gotta talk about our goaltending. And although Perbu and Weeks have had great performances so far in a Wolves uniform, both these kids seem to have a real issue with being able to start on time. And though I'm grateful the Wolves have had this amount of scoring power so far, I don't think scoring 6 to 11 goals per game is a sustainable statistic. I don't think scoring between 6 and 11 goals a game is a sus holy Jesus. The game is a sustain What? I don't think scoring between 6 and 11 goals a game is a sustainable statistic. Yes. And on the topic of scoring, Jack Thompson is now at the top of the OHL in goals for a defenseman with four. Jack is also tied for third amongst defensemen in the OHL for overall points with nine. And Quinton Byfield continues his dominant play as he gets one goal, three assists in this one. He still sits at the top of the league for overall points with 16. That makes four straight wins for the Wolves. So if you enjoyed the review of this game, please give the Wolves Fan Review Facebook page a like or subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash wolves. Wolves Fan Review. My name is Jim Stefanko. This has been episode four of the Wolves Fan Review from a Wolves Fan Perspective. Yeah.